think some of them are having some second thoughts on the back seat. Our best here. Welcome to the SOS, the same with all on Sunday. Uh, you have some place of seats there if you'd like to have a seat. Uh, make sure I have all the notes here, to make sure that you have all the information. As maybe you know, poliomyelitis, referred to as polio, is affecting millions worldwide and hundreds here locally. Polio is an acute, contagious disease characterized by headaches, um, sore throat, Stiffness of the neck, vomiting. Uh, it does affect children as well as adults. In its most violent form, it the nervous system is actually involved and it controls the muscles of breathing. Um, it also begins with a stiff neck, muscle pains, and an ascending paralysis. Uh, today's vaccine now was developed in the mid-1950s by Albert Sabin. Because it's a live virus, it wasn't allowed to be used in the United States. So it was taken to Europe and into South America, where millions of the doses were given. And every place it was given, there was elimination of polio. So finally, it was approved for here in America, here in 1962. And so starts the Saban Oral Polio Vaccine Campaign. Uh, this is the first of three series uh, to be given. The next two series will be for your family and friends who may have missed this first time. I'm Dr. Sloan, and this is Nurse Marilyn. And we're here to administer and relay information about this vaccine. Now, this regimen of doses that I'm speaking of has proved to be more effective than the previous injections known as the salt vaccine. As you will experience shortly, this is delivered by a simple sugar cube. Um, up until this time, we were only able to lessen the effects of polio and delay the, the death rate. Um, most of it was by the use of the on lung, which you may have heard of, some unusual breathing techniques, and an item called the rocking bed. And we actually had a patient here in the raw beef that uh, Nurse Merlin spoke of, or took care of actually, and she'd like to tell you something about her.